Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Force and motion. Newton's law of motion. This session is talk about horizontal motion. Uh, let's look at an example. A girl pushes a 25 kilogram lawnmower with a 30 newton at the direction of 40 degrees from horizontal. And what is the acceleration of the mower? What is the normal force exerted on the mower by the lawn? Ignore friction. This question is talking about a long mower moving at acceleration and uh, horizontally, looking for the acceleration of the mower. So we need first, we need to uh, find how many forces on the mower. So that's why we need to first make free body diagram. This is the machine mode, okay? We have <coughs> force of gravity, Fg, always downward, vertical downward, and the normal force is vertical up. Because the machine is moving horizontal. The acceleration is horizontally. And the mower is sitting on the lawn, which is horizontal. That's why the normal force is perpendicular to the mower, to the lawn. That's why the vertical up. And we have an applied force is 40 degree from the horizontal. This is FA. So follow the Newton's second law, we have net force equals ma. Because the machine is moving horizontal with horizontal acceleration. That's why the acceleration are horizontal. So the net force is on horizontal. So we're looking for acceleration AX equals F net over M. Because we say the acceleration on horizontal, that's why the net force is on horizontal, right? Because for the Newton's law, and the M mass is scalar. So the direction of acceleration is direction of net force. What is the net force on horizontal? So from the picture we can see there are three forces. Normal force vertical up, gravity vertical down. The applied force is neither on horizontal nor vertical. So that's why we need to get the component of applied force so we can set up horizontal as x direction and the vertical as y direction. We got the component of FA. FA x, this is a horizontal component. FA y is a vertical component. So we have FA x equals FA times cosine 40 degree because the FA is adjacent to 40 degree. That's why cosine. So we can plug a number in. The applied force is 30 Newton. Cosine 30, we can use calculate 
find the cosine 3D is 0 0.7660. So we got the applied force, horizontal component FAX equal 23 Newton. Because only one force on horizontal. Ignore the friction, that's why on horizontal only FAX which is the net force. That's why we can find the acceleration net force on x only fax. That's why 23 newton divided the m, which is 25 kilogram. We divided, we got 0 0.92 meter per second square. This is the question A. And the question B, we are looking for normal force. From the free body diagram, we can see, from free body diagram, we can see on vertical, there are three forces, normal force, gravity, and the component of FA, which is the FAY. We have three forces because the machine is moving horizontal. So on the vertical, it's balanced. That's why we can write the Newton second law for the vertical. On vertical, y direction, we can write net force equals ma, this is y, because ay equals zero, so net force equals zero, so net force equals zero, this is on y direction equals zero, so we have three forces, we have normal force is up, is positive, plus gravity is downward, is negative, and the component on y direction, FAY, is negative as well. You call zero, so we can find normal force. Move these two forces on the right side. Get FG plus FAY, so we got Fg equal 25 kilogram times 9.8 meter per second square plus Fay is 30 newton times sine 40 degree. So 25 multiply 9.8 we got the uh, vertical is uh, 245 Newton and the sine 40 and we can check the calculator to find the answer then multiply 30 degree, which is 245 Newton plus 90.3 Newton. So total equal <coughs> 260 Newton. So this is the normal force. This is presented by Wise guys. Thank you.